Hello, my name is Danny Enriquez and this is Lorenzo de Zavala Middle School. And I'm here today to show you what AVID is like in my school. So come on. Hey guys, this is what AVID tutorials look like in my class. Check it out. It's also really helpful because if you like are stuck on something, you can ask it on there, and then you'll get it, and it'll help you on more tests and everything that you need help with in math, social studies, or anything else. I find tutorials very helpful because I get help from Mr. Rob and the other tutors and my classmates. You know, it'll be helpful whenever you have tests and quizzes or any kind of lesson. You will have it like recorded on your mind because it helped you. If you don't know a question, it they uh, your classmates help you with the question. Like my notes, it teaches me how to do notes, and like now that I do my notes, it helps me study. The way Evan has helped me is that I take better notes. I. I'm better at my test. Um, uh, the Cornell notes are help, help me better. I mean, it's not like other other um uh, other notes. I mean, it, make, it makes me understand it more because like on the, because like I can just write the question on this side and have some notes on this side instead of writing it all on one page. But I use that. I do it in all, all the cl all my classes, and um um it's easier than taking like regular notes. It's like more better and. More sophisticated, I would say. Avid has helped me here by showing me how to do real good notes and asking great questions. I've seen big differences in me. Cornell notes are a history teacher's best friend. Um, we're able to use them in class to take our notes, and it applies to all of my kids Avid kids, GT kids, special ed kids. Um, and my level one ESL kids also benefit from using them. We first start off by taking some Cornell notes and that's how I introduce a lesson. And then after the Cornell notes, they look through the assignments that I give them and they may group themselves together or I may group them together, especially my honors. They like to form their own and they may use their notes, they may use each other to come up with the answers. Today we're continuing learning about the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, students spent yesterday using the textbook to summarize one aspect of the spectrum, radio waves, microwaves, x-rays, and uh, they created posters in groups uh, for that part of the spectrum. And then in their notebooks they set up uh, Cornell notes and filled in in the left column the different types of telescopes that scientists use to study the universe. And so today they're doing a gallery walk with their groups to fill in their Cornell notes about what the uh, posters were summarizing yesterday. Okay, well we try to apply some some sort of strategy every day in our science classes. We try to get them to do a lengthy writing assignment at least once a week because we know that if they're writing they're going to be, um, the scores are going to be higher, they're going to be more involved in science, they're going to be more interested in the subject because they understand it better. We also try to get them to be reading daily. We're trying to always do some sort of reading assignment in class. We've now completely switched over all of our notes to Cornell notes and they're to the point now where I'm like, see notes, they know how to do it, we're writing our own questions, we're writing summaries, and I really think they're using them to study for tests. In fact, today we had five minutes left, so we studied our C notes for our test tomorrow. Um, we're also trying to incorporate career stations in on Fridays that go over different scientific careers, and we're looking forward to the six, six weeks of doing just a whole like week or two of careers in college, talking about careers that go with colleges and colleges that go with careers, so we're really excited about AVID here. With the writing part of Wicker, we've been working on slogans. Uh, we do some pamphlets, again, for the different political parties, and the kids got to be, get creative with uh, slogans to make for their parties, things like that. We've been doing, uh, like I said, inquiry. We've been doing uh, collaborative things with group assignments, and um, each, each kid has a role in this, uh, just like Wicker tries to promote. And then, of course, we've been reading in class and uh, about the, the content of American history. I'm a sixth grade reading teacher here at De Zavala, and even though we don't have an AVID program for sixth grade as of yet, I do use a lot of strategies in my classroom being a site team uh, member. If you can see behind me, this is kind of our, our AVID wall behind me, and um, we are presently right now, the kids are working on 
maybe like a, a level three applying their knowledge of conflict um, that we took Cornell notes on, use graphic organizers on, and they are now applying their knowledge about conflict to create a cartoon um, and tell a story about, about conflict in that. This is what AVID looks like in my classroom. So we like to incorporate a lot of collaborative work and effort, and so things that um, you know include gallery walks, I'll have them make a poster, and then they not only are responsible for collaborating with their peers on that one poster, but then they have the opportunity to continue on a journey and, um, and verify that their information was correct compared to the other peers in their class. Learning logs are when you write down what you did each week, uh, what you did in classes. That way, like in a month when your teacher tells you the review or something, you'll know what you learned. It's a reflection of what you did through the whole entire week of every subject. Like if you're in math, you write down what subject you learned, like probably decimal. Sabbath Club, what we do is we have meetings, we figure out what can help the students, um, we figure out field trips, what the students might like, t-shirts, and any fun activities. Uh, we got to do a project on our career choice, whatever we wanted to be when we grew up. We got, um, we got to research exactly what we did, how much we got paid, and at the end we got all of that information and we presented it to our parents and to all the other students' parents and it was a lot of fun. We've also had many guest speakers in AVID for such as we had a judge from the District Court of Appeals and he told us what his job was and how his cases have been really interesting. We've also had a, a person come in from the Secret Service agent who, who's taken a shot from the president and actually gotten to be there to protect them. Another thing about AVID is that they don't always have to do work. Basically, they go on field trips and learn about things that other students don't really get to learn. Uh, I remember at one point we went to a college called UNT and one of the most the main topics that we got to do there is we got to hold an actual human brain and human lungs. And we learned all about what happens when you smoke, how they blacken and, and stuff like that. Uh, we also went to another field trip called Main Event. And that's like a huge place where you get to do a bunch of fun stuff, play games and you know just have fun. And that's one of the main reasons I like Avid is it's not about working most of the time. It's about having fun and learning as one big family. Avid has helped me a lot with my studies. Um, before I came into Avid, I was really disorganized and the papers were all over the place. I feel like it's really helping me in my classes. Um, I'm really improving. Before, like, when I didn't, when I wasn't in this class, I didn't, like, I couldn't even find my papers that I was supposed to turn in. Yeah. It's a good program that helps you get better in school and helps you think more about your future and what you want to do. I gotta say it was kind of hard at the beginning, but after you actually start working towards it and trying, it, it gets pretty easy after a while. Um, I thought that Avid was like, I thought it was going to be fun, but then it ended up being really hard for me, and then I got pushed to the limit where I just wanted to quit, but then I finally just like catch back on and like picked up my grades and learned that it helped me more, and like I'm more organized and I'm more responsible, and I can do things more than other people can because I got pushed to the level. So like Avid helped me get to a higher place. If you don't believe my, my grade in social studies was um was a five. It now it didn't went up to ninety three. And then um I got a lot of my grades up and like like really fast and some sometimes I come in the morning, because um, I used to never do that. And now like so now I just come in the morning sometimes. I had a teacher whose name was Mr. Cherimudu and um, I would just fail his class, I wouldn't turn in anything. I had like a 30 
and then I was I started go, uh, getting into the program more. I actually started participating in things, and I ended up getting the award for his class. And I guess it proved, I guess it proved Avid was a better program to me and to Mr. Shiramudu. It proved that Avid can really change a student's life. I guess now that I'm in eighth grade and I'm pretty much an honor roll student. Um, I can see the effects that AVID has gone towards me and towards my life. I guess I have a much easier job now. I can turn in everything and I can say I'm passing all my classes in the 90s or above. And I guess AVID was, I guess, the best thing that could have happened to me. I would really recommend people to join AVID. It's fun and you get to really learn and it gives you a chance to go to college, which I don't have much of a chance without AVID. Because AVID can get you back on top. All AVID is really asking for is some effort, and they can help you with pretty much anything. Although we're new to AVID, this is our very first year being certified, I think that we're taking the right steps towards becoming AVID school-wide. Uh, our teachers are beginning to embrace the idea about Wicker strategies and, and Cornell notes. They, they are seeing the effect that it has on the students and how they're able to learn a little bit more by studying these notes and really applying the, the, the C-note strategy. And the students are also talking up AVID to other students and it's getting them excited. So all this talk, all this excitement is going on in our school and that's what, it, what AVID right now looks like at our school. Well, that's how AVID looks like at my school. And just remember there's a lot of other students with stories like mine. And well, I guess hope you considered getting into AVID. So I'll see you later. <laughs>